Hello everyone, welcome back. I hope you all are doing good. So moving on to the next section of pathophysiology and question number 13. A doctor consulted a woman with defects of physical and sexual development. Microscopy of mucosa cell reveal, did not reveal any sex chromatin in the nuclei. What kind of chromosome pathology does it mean? So did not reveal any sex chromatin. That is, there is no bar body present. And uh, so the karyotype will be 46XO. And uh, in normally females have one bar body and males do not have any bar body. But in, in this case, woman does not have any bar body. So this is the karyotype and the answer will be the Turner syndrome. I will upload a short summary of the chromosomal disorders. So you can have a quick look at it. And uh, moving on to next question. Uh, what method of genetic examination? most likely makes it possible to diagnose the Turner syndrome so anyways it is again chromosomal disorder we can do karyotype or in this case the answer best would be identification of sex chromatin genealogical is basically for family history and dermatoglyphics uh, it is for identification of their fingerprints question number 15 a 40 year old pregnant woman underwent myelosynthesis the karyotype of fetus is 47xy and trisomy of 21 so obviously down syndrome but our syndrome is trisomy of chromosomal 13 and edward edward syndrome edward syndrome is trisomy of chromosome number 18 question number 16 a 20 year old tall young man of asthenic constitution who demonstrates signs of hypogonadism gynecomastia diminished production of semen has been found having 47 xxy karyotype so all these features are seen in a male and uh, he has an extra bar body that is and he has an extra chromosome x chromosome and that leads to these symptoms and this disease is Klinefelter syndrome again the non disjunction of chromosomal proteins c when there is xx and xy and during the formation of gametes there is non disjunction of these chromosomes so when crossing over occurs there is XXY that is Klinefelter or X0 that is your Turner syndrome. So moving on to question number 17. A 7 year old boy was diagnosed with Daltonism. His parents are healthy and but his maternal grandfather had the same abnormality. So you can see that so it is not a dominant one because it is not present in every generation rather it is recessive. And you can see it is sex linked. Why? Because his grandfather had this defected gene and since it is recessive it is able to express in the grandfather but his daughter could only receive one uh, defected X chromosome and now her son has inherited again that defected X chromosome so it is sex linked recessive moving on to question number 18 of the frequency of heterozygotes with genome uh, with genome of phenylketonuria is population what method of genetical investigation is used for revealing early phenylketonuria of newborn so it is biochemical biochemical investigations are used for enzyme deficiencies and in this case it is phenyl alanine hydroxylase cytogenetic i told you for karyotype or chromosomal disorders and genealogical again family history and dermatographics for fingerprints moving on to next section that is reactivity question number 19 a nine-year-old girl began to walk late at the age of one she had severe lingering form of pneumonia there appeared telangiectasias on skin and conjunctiva iga is absent the amount of t lymphocytes is reduced so uh, you can see that both a humoral and cellular immunity are impaired and what i one type of immunodeficiency does a child demonstrate that this is ataxia telangiectasia because she had difficulty walking and now she has telangiectasia and this disease in croc is mentioned as Lewy Barr syndrome uh, it is also called ataxia telangiectasia I already told you and uh, so since both cellular and humoral immunity are appeared it is a kind of combined immunodeficiency and uh, and uh, in combined immunodeficiency, it is either viscotol, viscotol rich Lewy bar or immunodeficiency of Swiss type. Lewy bar is given in this question. In viscotol rich, you can see 
Uh, Viscod Waldrich mainly affects the thrombocytes, so we can see thrombocytopenia and eczema. And immunodeficiency of Swiss type is basically your severe combined immunodeficiency or SCID and it is autosomal recessive type and the severe form of this uh, includes the deficiency of enzyme adenosine deaminase. An HIV infected patient demonstrates the inhibition of immune system activity. What type of cell deficiency? Uh, so I hope you already know that HIV mainly affects the T helper cells. Uh, and a quick review of I may CD4 positive cells are T helper and CD8 positive cells are T killer cells. And uh, T helper cells mainly helps in activation of B lymphocytes. And CD8 positive cell or T killer cells are mainly for virus, uh, virus infected cell or cancer cells. And T suppressor cells basically helps in distinguishing self and non-self and preventing autoimmune reactions. It prevents autoimmune reaction. So question number 21. Investigation of immune system Condition of a patient with chronic mycotic infection of skin revealed cellular immunodeficiency. So there are two types of uh, immune response that is cellular and humoral. The cellular one is due to T lymphocytes and the humoral one is by B lymphocytes. The humor in humoral one there is antigen specific antibody production. So question number 22, hormonal therapy is obligatory for depressing autoimmune reactions after transplantation of organs. What hormones are used? Uh, so you know steroids are basically immunosuppressant and obviously after transplantation you want to prevent the autoimmune reaction to the transplanted organ. So we give steroids or glucocorticoids and the from, from the glucocorticoids you can remember cortisol or corticosteroid. While from mineralocorticoids, the end of mineral is AL and AL for aldosterone. So question number 23, a 2 year old child has been diagnosed with hyperplasia of thymus gland. And what parameter of immune system? So you know in thymus gland there uh, is maturation of T cells. So obviously when there is hyperplasia of thymus gland or in case they are talking about the Dijord syndrome, uh, there will be deficiency of T lymphocytes. 24. A 27-year-old woman suffers from itch, burning sensation in eyes, lacrimation, and accidation from nose. These symptoms appeared in summer after her trip to countryside. A doctor diagnosed polynosis. What type of allergy? So there are four types of hypersensitivity reactions. The anaphylactics, cytotoxic, immunocomplex, and delayed hypersensitivity. So anaphylactic occurs within the minutes and it is IgE mediated. Again, I'll upload a picture of a summary of these hypersensitivity reactions or in future I'll make a separate video on it but for now I hope this information is enough. So question number 25 before injecting a patient with anti-tetanic serum a sensitivity test for the serum was performed it showed positive reaction. Uh, what substance should be used for specific desensibilization so you know anti tetanic serum uh, some people can be sensitive to it and it can lead to serum sickness or any any anaphylactic reaction this concept is called drug desensitization in this the drug to which person is allergic to is given in very small doses so these small doses leads to a decreased amount of mediator release for example if it is a case of type 1 hypersensitivity uh, we would try to give the hypersensitive drug in very small doses. So a small amount of histamine is released every time a, drug, a person is exposed to that agent. So this will not lead to anaphylactic reaction and it will lead to temporary tolerance. So this is drug desensitization or just desensitization in general. And in this again for specific desensitization we give small doses of the same anti tetanic serum. So in this way, the anaphylaxis or other hypersensitivity, hypersensitivity reaction will not occur. 26. Leukopenia followed the treatment of with pyramidon. Anti-leukocytic antibodies 
were found in blood what type of allergic response so the type 2 hypersensitivity reaction or cytotoxic it is IgG mediated and in this specific antibodies are produced against a specific cell or a tissue so that is why uh, it is called cytotoxic that is it is destroys the cell because in, for example in this case ND leukocytic antibodies so against leukocytes antibodies were produced and that led to its destruction or cytotoxic question number 27 a 27 year old patient used eye drops containing penicillin in few minutes skin itching edema of the lips cuff and arterial pressure began to decrease what immunoglobulins take part in the development of this allergic reaction so it is a case of anaphylaxis and you know type 1 hypersensitivity involves IgE antibody and you know penicillin is basically a haptin so what haptin means that it is not immunogenic itself but when it binds to the body proteins it becomes immunogenic and antibodies are produced against it so anyways this case since it is a case of anaphylaxis it happened within minutes and uh, so IgE binded to mast cell it led it led to its degranulation and release of histamine and histamine is a vasodilator histamine is a vasodilator therefore it led to edema cough or the decrease of blood pressure question number 28 a 10 year old girl with congenital heart and thyroid defects suffers from viral and fungal diseases immunological investigation revealed the absence of T lymphocytes what disease is a, of immune system takes place in such case so here I'll tell you the answer is hyperplasia of thyroid gland, thymus gland or digorge syndrome so in digorge syndrome there is um, failure of development of third and fourth pharyngeal pouch and from third pharyngeal pouch thymus and parathyroid gland develop and from fourth the thyroid gland so since uh, so obviously there is defect of both thymus and thyroid and parathyroid so absence of T lymphocyte means hyperplasia of thymus and plus heart and thyroid def um, gland defects plus you can see there is uh, he mainly suffers from viral or fungal diseases and not bacterial infections because because for bacterial infections mainly there is a humoral immune immune response while for viral infected cells or I told you before can uh, cancer cell there is a cellular immune response and for that you know I told you in the previous question that was T killers so this was a question of digorge syndrome or in the, from the other options uh, hyperplasia of thymus gland. Question number 29, a five-year-old boy like his grandfather suffers from pneumonia and purulent diseases of skin. Absence of B lymphocyte is revealed. Uh, what, I, uh, what type of immunological reactivity takes place? So only B lymphocyte uh, are decreased. So it is B, uh, B cell selective de uh, def immunodeficiency. And in this case, it is Bruton's hypogamma globulinemia and um, so complement for complement there won't be deficiency of B lymphocyte hyperplasia of thymus gland no other symptom combined deficiency they are not talking about the T lymphocytes and Turner syndrome again it is a chromosomal disorder so Bruton's hypogamma globulinum it is also X-linked recessive so you can see a boy had his mother was normal but his grandfather suffered from the same disease and you know it is mainly pneumonia and purulent diseases I told you that for uh, bacterial infections humoral immune there is a humoral immune response while for viral or fungal reactions there is a cellular immune response or B or T lymphocytes so question number 30 so the next two question please uh, read carefully the wording what they are asking in question so in question number 30 they are saying a large dose of antibodies for the basal membrane of glomeruli that led to development of acute glomerular nephritis so here they are talking about a specific antibody against a protein that is the basement membrane of glomeruli so it is cytotoxic glomerular nephritis occurred because there was a specific antibody against the basement membrane of glomerulus now let's see look at the next question a patient with proteinuria, hematuria, edema and arterial hypertension so that means it is a, a case of acute glomerular nephritis 
What type of allergic response according to Coombs and Child classification is the cause of glomerulonephritis in 80% of the cases. So you know gl acute glomerulonephritis, uh, the most common cause is basically post streptococcal glomerulonephritis. So since it is post strep or it, in any case it can be due to toxins or drugs. So you see the antibody is not directly against the basement membrane. It is against either streptococcal or it is against drugs. And this antigen antibody complex then deposits in other tissue and in this case the glomerulus. So this is a case of immunocomplex hypersensitivity and not cytotoxic because specific antibodies to the glomerulus are not produced. So last question for today. A woman complains of rhinitis, slackening voice, reddening of eyelid lacrimation in spring. What type of allergic response? And because since it is spring, then maybe, you know, it is allergy to pollen and obviously it is IgE mediated and so the answer is anaphylaxis. And that's it for this video guys. Thank you for watching. If it was helpful, please like and share with your friends and thank you for watching.